Hey, wizards, guess what? It's Kieran Trollcaller, and we are here in Zafaria in Stonetown, ready to go ahead and take it up another notch and get this going. Now, like we usually do for the first video or first Tuesday video of the week, we like to go ahead and run through our stats. So let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly where we're at. So we're sitting at level 74, plenty of health, plenty of mana, plenty of experience, 13 training points, almost a max gold. I, I might have to go train a pet or something so I don't start losing gold. Um, 80 damage still, which is rocking it, plus 13 um, damage to all my hits, which is nice. Oh, and myth, because that's what I'm playing. But 24 across for resistance is okay. 20 per, plus 20 on my accuracy, which gives me 100% accuracy. Fantastic. Um, 165 critical, which is nice. 39 across for my block rating. A stun resistance of 6, which nothing to be sad about there. Notice that's been actually going on. That's nice. I like that. And it, uh, my healing in is 5%. Very, very good. Power pips of 82%. Be nice to continue to grow that. But hey, you know, it takes time, right? Absolutely. And there's where we are, guys. That is what we're doing. Um, you know, as far as gear, we haven't changed any gear right now. So I've just been focused on questing. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go talk to Hathi Iron Trunk here in the Darjani Palace. Last time, we were trying to help them clear out some that rabble. sounds dire. Oh yeah, yeah. Head. We took care of those um those gray horns. Those gray horn mercenaries. The old tusk tusk trunk does it every time. You got it. But the gray horns are far from the last of it. The sooth berserkers are doing incalculable damage to our city. Okay, so what do we gotta do? To help get to the bottom of why they are so no angry. problem. Challenge a few to a duel. See if you can find any clues. Okay, Muzuth Berserkers. Okay, so we gotta go grab a few of these guys. I think he's gonna end up having me fight everybody. Okay, we're not gonna fight him here. And again, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but a lot of times when you get a quest and you notice that they're all mixed up, I mean, you can, sometimes you're just stuck doing that, but I also know that this place also has these guys like, like spawning up here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab two up here because we're not gonna get any of the ones we don't want. So that this is a much better place to fight these Muzuth Berserkers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of. No problem. Whew. Well, everything is back on schedule now, guys. So thanks everybody for stepping in and watching another episode. Just a reminder, I do stream four times a week on Twitch. Usually at least two of those streams are going to be some Wizard 101, up to three streams right now, and also one Pirate 101 stream. I usually do a little Minecraft, and there we go. So to check out my Twitch, Kimmy Say Gaming, if you want to catch up with it. I'd love it if you guys took a moment to hit a follow and to hang out with us sometime on stream, because that, that's where that's where all the fun happens, right? Streams, tons of fun on stream. Okay, guys, so it's been um, a little bit, and I hope everybody's been doing really, really well. Obviously, you know, we've got some work to do. We're only in Stone Town. We got at least, gosh, let's see here. We got to finish Stone Town out, which means we have to go across the river. And then um, after Stone Town, we've got the Drum Drum Jungle, okay? And then after the Drum Drum Jungle, we've got the, I think it's the Elephant Graveyard. And then after that, I think we're we're good. I think we're we're really starting to move through Zafaria, guys. So I think we're going to be able to get out of here um, and actually get through it pretty good. And I think we're doing great. You know, we, there is a tough boss battle that is coming up. Um, one of my one of my favorite nemesises ever in the game. I'm not sure how I'm going to take him solo yet. I'm not sure if I can take him solo yet. So I've got a I've got things strategies what I can pull off and what I can't at the moment. So um, wh when we get there, we'll talk about it and we might give it a shot. I'm not sure. Got to got to got to think it over because um, he's he's a tough one with the cheat that he happens to have. The last okay, there we go. Drops a curious looking headdress. The gem adorning it seems to have some potent spell. Very good. Okay, well let's do this thing. Let's go talk to Hathi. Now that we've got whatever we were supposed to get out of them, and he's going to give us the next heads up here. Okay, so. Here we go. What a curious looking headdress. <laughs> I don't know what I that is. Know what that is. Okay. I need you to take this headdress. Okay, to, to the, the market. market. Maybe mm. one of the merchants. Said, I would start with the merchants Aziza Ruffoot and Shara White Tusk. See what they know. Okay, so what's great about 
um, Stone Town is it actually has a market, which is kind of cool. So let's go over to the market, which is t which is like uh, two sections over. I love Stone Town. I think the look is really really awesome. You know, it's, it's um, very very cool. It definitely looks different than all the other cities we've been in, but it still has that real nice flair. There's a Ziza Roughfoot. Jumbo outsider. What do you have there? No, I've never seen that particular Okay, style it looks foreign. Head. You need someone who knows outsider culture well. There is such a merchant. Okay. I, I think she's called Kella something. You'll have to ask around for her. Okay. And of course, I just can't walk by stone. Okay, let's look around. Look, okay, let's go talk to Shara White Tusk, White Tusk right here. Hello, stranger. Are you buying or Am selling? Am I buying or selling? Something else? Oh, let me show you. What an unusual gemstone. Uh-huh. It reminds yeah. me of something, yeah. but I cannot say where I might have seen it. Before. Okay. You need an expert in such a So mysteries. I've been told. So I've, I've been told. i of a merchant called okay. Long Thought. If you can find her, I bet she'd know. There we go. She just gave me the name. Ah, there's Kella Long Thought right there. Let's talk to her. Jumbo wizard. Ah. We don't see your kind around here often. I get around. Ah, let me see what you have there. What a, here we go. I've seen it's like before, but I confess, I don't know where it comes from or who might have made it. Okay, let's, let me see. you need to ask is Tala, Tala Snake, Snake Squash. Squash. Okay. She knows everything. My goodness, they are sending me to like everybody. Well, that's good. We get to know everybody. That's nice. Okay, Tala. Can I help you? Ah, yes. Jumbo, little wizard. Where in the spiral do you hail from? Well, you know. Wizard City? Most interesting. Yes, yes. You're lucky you found me here today. Okay. I'm looking for a big expedition. The fighting and calamity do not agree with me. Okay, well. I plan to visit many spiral worlds to bring back new wares. Marleybone, Mushu, Avalon, Polaris, all the common stuff. Ah, that's cool. But you have been diligent in your efforts to find me. She so goes to Polaris. Did you hear that? Oh. Yes, this headdress is not of elephantine make. It tugs at a memory, but you see how it is damaged here? I see, I see. If you could recover several more, I would be better able to determine its origin. Please, treat with the berserkers for them. Okay, so we got to fight some berserkers, and I think I can get a couple of them right here. So let's, let's go for it. I just don't want to get the black cultists. The cultists are not who I need. I need the berserkers. Good, got two berserkers. I went for it. It worked out. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get ready to slam these guys. And maybe we can get everything we need in one fight. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Everything in one fight. Okay, guys. So, very, very cool. Now, I'll tell you what, Zafaria, you know, when I first started going through it, I was loving it. And I still love it. It's, it's a great world. And that's one of the things I like. I think that's one of the reasons why I, you know, play Wizard 101 as much as I do is, you know, just the artwork, the fun of it. You know, it's always one of the coolest. It's all, I think it's just one of the coolest games that, that's ever built. So different than anything else out there, you know. And I'll be honest with you, you're not going to find a um, RPG like like Wizard 101 out there. You can find a whole bunch of them that look very similar. Heck, even the ones that you know like to talk about how different they are from others are still very similar to each other. You know, if you look at any of the other um, RPG style. Um, MMO, MMO, MMOs, you know. So the neat, neat thing about this is the only thing that has a card-based system. It's the only thing that, again, focuses a lot tongue-in-cheek and makes it a lot of fun to play, you know, with all that. And plus, gives you a lot of customizability as well. You know, I can't wait for, you know, how, how this con game continues to grow, you know, with the new owners as well as the developers continuing to do things that are going to... Um, make some changes in the game you know okay so oh great we still need to get one more well 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 let's just get these two guys here fantastic we got pretty lucky on that got two each time yeah too bad i can't get any um decent you know what do you call those things i can't can't get any decent jewels on my drops yeah, i mean that's okay for uh, for a storm guy but that's not going to help me any ha 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 
Well, I guess Pierce Storm. I guess, I guess it'll help me Pierce Storm. But hey, you know, that's that's just one of the things that goes through. Ooh, I see new quests are starting to pop up or pop up around me, new side quests and everything. So that's really good. Uh, right now, I am currently 100% caught up on side quests in this world. And so when you're looking at my level, level 74, that's about the level you can expect if you're doing every single side quest in the game and you're at that point. So, um that is one way to go. Now, the nice thing about um, leveling up that particular way, or should I say doing side quests, is it does get you OP. So it puts you in a position where you're gonna be a little bit stronger, maybe have some more spells, um, have access to um, more bizarre equipment. So if, so sometimes you can find something just a little bit nicer than if you were at one level. Um, and that, and that's a, that, that can be a big advantage to, for, to you, depending on how on how you like to play. This is the, one of the ways I like to play, so let's keep going. Let us examine these more closely. Okay, take a good look. Yes, I am confident now. There these we go. Gemstones only come from the drum, drum jungle, jungle, a wild region dominated by black back gorillas. Okay. Have you met any yet? Not they yet. Have long kept themselves away from Zafarian politics. Okay. There is a merchant who delves deep into the very, drum very jungle good. Uh, and brings here back we go. all manner of Balak. mysteries. His this is the guy Bob. I was talking about, guys. It is said he does his business across the river. You should ask Captain Hannibal One Tusk to help find him. Okay, guys. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, so Block is going to be across the river. That's great. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go ahead and grab this quest while we're over here. You know, she's probably the one that wants me to go look for mice. But we'll just we'll just go ahead and. Yeah, she's, we'll, we'll do, I'm going to do mice on my own time, but right now we have to go after Balak. Okay, so Balak is a tough, tough guy, you know. Um, you actually get to fight him multiple times in this game, which is kind of funny, um, because he shows up a, in, a, in another fight. Okay, let's talk to Hannibal. Hey, kid, how's it going? We have to get across this river. You're looking for Balak? He's a shifty sort. Okay. To see if the Greyhorns will let us sail up river. Okay. Oh, discuss it with the Greyhorns <laughs> near the bridge. Don't be afraid to use your tusks if you need to. Okay. Do you know how many times we've beaten up Greyhorns? Yeah, we've beaten up Greyhorns a lot. Okay. And this is going to be a tough one because we want to try to get as many of them in a fight as possible. So, good, good. We got lucky because we have to get three of them. And getting two right away, that is the first step. Okay, well guys, if you um, thought I was joking about how many times you're gonna have to fight Greyhorns in this game, here is more proof of it. Greyhorns around every corner, guys, around every corner. Wow, we're, we're doing pretty good, guys. It looks like, ooh, good. Thank goodness. I, did you see me resist that? That 6% stun resist? Hey, 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 it actually worked. I don't think, I think that's the first time I resisted a stun. Well, but we fizzled. How do we fizzle? Oh, this game sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and get a blade up so we can get these guys taken down. Okay, so what do we need to do? We're going to go try to find Balak. Now, Balak, like I said, he's going to be a tough customer, and it's because he's one of those bosses that cheats. Now, the thing about him cheating, here's how he likes to cheat. Oh, and it's so annoying, too. Um, here is how he likes to cheat. What is he? Go what he is going to do is he wants... If you don't hit him in a round, okay, if you don't hit him in a round, then what is he going to do is he is going to go ahead and use Raw on you. Raw sucks. And the current spell of Raw also gives you like a negative 45 too. And that's going to be make it very difficult to fight him if we're going to be stacking up a whole bunch of weaknesses on us as we try to fight Balak. So I think I've got an idea on how I want to handle him as a Myth Wizard. Now I'll be honest with you i mean i could go in there with a couple guys because going there with a couple guys that you know i'll be honest with you block's not tough if you're in there with a couple people you know because you guys can like split up the sh the, fi the shooting parts and huh i wonder what's going on right here uh -huh. well they stunned me and um huh well there we go I, I won Okay, not sure how I won. Oh, I, it just totally skipped out. I had an animation bug, and it just totally skipped out all the animation of Orthrus. Well, that's weird, guys. Well, every once in a while, there's a bug in here, and I just happened to find it that time. Okay. So, anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, Orthrus. 
yeah, Belloc. So, I mean, going there with a couple people, really, it's pretty easy. As long as you have one guy just focused on hitting him, um, you're not going to have any trouble at all, really. You know, that's that's really the key, is always have somebody willing to go ahead and hit him. Um, that's not going to be the strategy we go for. What The strategy we're going to go for is we're going to try to do it solo. And I've got an idea. I've got an idea of something that will work for my wizard, you know, um, because... You know, the thing is, is now if I was a fire wizard, I think I could easily take him on. And I'll tell you, and I, I can tell you the strategy I use as a fire wizard. See, the fire wizard has these um, damage over time hits that you can use and also heal yourself at the same time. I loaded my wizard up with those and I just whittled block down to nothing fighting with him. Oh yeah, I just whittled him down to absolutely nothing using that spell. So I mean that worked out pretty good and it wasn't such a bad such a bad run. But this time I think we got to be a little bit more creative here. You know, for instance, you know, I think I'm going to have to heavily rely on my wands and I'm going to have to live heavily rely on one of my spells to get me through it. Okay. And um, and I'm I'm going to explain the strategy for you. First, let's see if we can get over to the other side of the um nice okay that should do it for us you may have bested us but you ah. still can't get bust us on the river okay well that wasn't very nice let's go talk to hannibal he might know a way across the river hannibal won to us this, this guy you know he seems to know his way not i was hoping they'd let us say okay well what do we gotta do the safari queen is too big a target if the gray horns won't let us pass okay They'll blow us out of the water so what do we do i know how we can get you by them i've got a buddy in town he has a small rowboat <laughs> a small you. rowboat okay head into the market and look for my partner sabaka uh Lions don't scare you, do they? No, no, I've met a lot of lions here, so not a problem at all. Okay, so now we have to figure out how to get across so that we can go ahead and and um, talk to this Balak character. Okay, so there we go, Sabaka. He's right there. Sabaka. Huh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, they're doing some Star Wars stuff here because, you know, one tusk is kind of is acting kind of like Han Solo, and now we've got Sabaka. He's so sounding like Chewbacca. You're just clearing my throat. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hannibal sent you to me. Eh? I can manage a river I love this game. All the little nods boat. and different things. It's you hilarious. You need to create a distraction. Okay. While you fight some black tusk cultists, of course. I'll sneak down to the boat and get it ready. You can meet me there. All right, he sounds good to me. There we go. There's some black cult tusk. Hopefully we got two of them. Nope. Okay, guys, this might be three fights worth here. So, anyways, so I, I, I think I got an idea of how we're going to take down, um, take him down. So, again, the, his big cheat is if you don't hit him, he hits you with raw. And right now, raw is not a good thing to hit with because not only does it do a good portion of damage, so I could probably take maybe um, four or five raw hits, maybe four raw hits from him. And honestly, I mean, that would pretty much wipe me out pretty quick. Um, what we need to focus on is we need to focus on a strategy that's going to hit him every round and still allow me to save up pips. That's the key. I got to be able to hit him every round and still save up pips. So the good news is, is that, and, and unfortunately, um, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll see who they pull in. Ooh, perfect. Now, if he can pull in, uh, can't get everything. Okay. I was going to say, if he could pull in a black tusk, black, black tusk, if we can get two, well, two more of them, then this is one fight for me. But now they pulled in a berserker, so that's okay. At least we get the two right away, and... I had to wait around for them to show up anyway, so we'll go ahead and just wait, and that's perfectly fine for me. Okay, now that we've got everybody in, we can go ahead and wipe these guys out. Jeez, those guys are getting heavy-handed over there, aren't they? Not a problem, we can take them down. Not a problem at all. Okay, so here we go, my turn, and we've got the perfect guy here for this, even with a weakness on me, I think we got this. Yep. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna even get a chance to um, cast his um, little um, whirlwind there. Uh, see guys, this is how it's done right here. I probably didn't need to put so many blades up, but hey, at least we're gonna make sure they're all dead, right? 
Very, very good. Now, if you'll notice those two nice guys over there, they're wearing full on waterworks gear. But to get the highest damage possible, we chose not to go that direction. Now, of course, one of the other things I really need to do to increase my damage is to get a four time, a four damage pet. Yeah, right now I've got I've got a good pet, but right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get four damage and a may cast. That's what I want for my pet. Four damage and a may cast. Kind of tough, and we're gonna do a whole lot of breeding to get it there. But hey, you know what? At least we know what we're looking for. Don't want a berserker, but I do want a cultist. There we go. Okay, last black tusk cultist. Uh, looks like the boys are joining in again. That's fine. I think this will go a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and get a blade up. And then I've already got a frog ready to go. So it's, so next round, ooh, here's, here's hoping that they'll get another, they'll draw another one in before the round. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now we're ready to go here again. Righty, righty, righty. So, okay, guys, so here's what we're going to try to do before we end this episode. We're going to see if we can get to Balak. Now, Balak will be a tough fight. And if we get enough time, that's what we're going to be shooting for. But I'm not, sh I'm not sure if we're going to get there yet. We'll just have to see where, how much longer this particular skirmish takes. Ah, come on, guys. There we go. You done yet? Yeah, I got first hit this time, so that works out fine. Let's do it frog and he has a whirlwind to back it up yeah these guys are definitely done fantastic you know frog might just finish him off you never know it depends on the critical and everything if we get up there let's see so do we finish him off for these guys these guys are just along for the ride right now oh yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy whatever that means i guess i guess it's easy to pee easy um easy to squeeze a lemon I guess it is. Squeezing lemon is not so hard. I mean, have you guys ever... Yeah, of course, everybody. I've, most of you have probably squeezed lemon. Lemons are pretty good. You know, I, I, I like lemonade. Lemonade is excellent. But unfortunately for me, happy with lemonade. What? That guy survived? Well, that's okay. Because this guy will finish you off. You go for it. By the way, I am still looking for the perfect staff for my guys. So if you know of a cool staff that I could um, go grind for or something, please let me know. Okay, guys, it looks like we're going to be able to get across the river in the rowboat. We just got to go catch up with Sabaka. <laughs> Sabaka. <laughs> loving it. Absolutely loving it. Very, very good. Ooh, look at that acacia tree there. Very, very nice. Okay, Sabaka, let's do this thing. What of it? Okay. She may not look like much, but she's a fast little boat. Just hop on and we'll go. Let's go. Anytime you want to come back here, just climb back here. Sounds good to me. Okay, guys. Looks like we are on the hunt. There's Sabaka. <laughs> that was close. Remember, if you ever want to go between... You're looking for Belok. Ah, uh -huh, yes. One. Mischief maker, we, we call, call him Savannah, okay. Hangs around the rowdy, rough and tumble waterfront. You can ask around. Okay, that won't get us anywhere. Have to rough up uh, some, some great hunt mercenaries. Okay. To find out where Belloc's lair is these days. Well, let's go ahead and jump in on their fight and take advantage of it. And maybe we can go ahead and get a third Greyhorn mercenary. Come on, guys. Get over here. Get over here, guys. Just got to wait for one more. One more. Perfect. 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 There we go. All three of them. Perfect, guys. Nice. Very excited about this. Very excited. Well, I'll go ahead and throw this on. Smart of them not to go ahead and to attack. That'll give a chance for them to get to get in. Very, very good. Okay, guys. I think these guys are going after Balak as well. So, um, I don't know. Should we go in with them? I'm thinking we might be wise to go in with them. Yeah. We might be wise to do that. Okay, because it would make life a little bit easier. It would definitely make life a little bit easier to go ahead and finish off the lock. You know. Still alive, still alive. Okay. What about what about the storm guy? Oh, he passed? The storm guy. Man, he should be the guy doing the hit first, right? Don't you think? You know? At least that's what I've experienced. Okay. Well, I'll definitely finish him off here. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see if they'll cough up where Block is, and then we will head straight over there. Very, very well. Very, very well. Do you, I'm, 
I've lost count of grain horde and grain horn mercenaries who have been wounded or dispatched. Yep, and I don't even think we're done yet. That's how crazy it is. What do you want with that scum? You will find him in the sook. In the sook? Okay, Sabaka. The sook, eh? Okay. You'll find Belloc's tent in the sook, all right. Track him down and find out what he knows. I'll wait for you here. Okay, let's head over to the sook. He should be over here. There we go. And all the way down here at his tent. Wow, those guys are already getting in. Guys, we're gonna take advantage of this and we're gonna hop in because this will just make um, block a lot easier. We're gonna go ahead and throw up our wand hits. That way we actually have what we need. Ah, uh, with Counselor Rask Pridefall. Not good. And look at what Counselor Rasik is wearing. Yep, he's wearing the jewels and the band. Uh huh. You're as nauseous as an elephant, and soon to be skinned like a zebra. Okay. I can't be seen here. No problem. Let's fight him. Okay. Hope they go. I hope they know what to do here. You know. But yeah, he's going to get a cheat here, and um, we're going to watch what these guys do because we definitely um, want to go ahead and be helpful. Okay. So he's doing that. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, yeah. I don't know if a faint is worth it or not. Nope. Faint's not worth it or not. Let's go ahead and throw some traps on him. Okay. So he's got the first hit in. That's fine. Whoa. This block. Oh, yeah. He, Power Nova. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's doing the old Power Nova. Yeah. Because that thing should be doing some more damage than that. Oh, look, I guess it wasn't the old Power Nova because we didn't get weaknesses put on this. Yeah, the old Power Nova used to have a weakness in it, but they updated that spell last summer, so now it doesn't have weakness on it, which is fine with me. I mean, I don't want any weakness. Oh, did he hit him? I don't think he hit him. Did he fizzle? That's not good. Okay. Um, very, very likely. Okay, let's see what these guys are doing. Okay, yeah, see see what happens when you don't hit him? The first guy, I thought he was hitting him, but he didn't. And now we got to be Rod. Well, well, well. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone in with him. You know what? I, I want to come back in here and try to solo him as well, because I think I, my strategy might actually work. Yeah, and see, that's not a weak raw either. Look at that. That's 1,050. It's 1,000 points of raw right now. That's not so good. Not so good. I wonder how bad it's going to hit me because I don't have as much defense on my armor set as they might have because Waterworks as a toll is pretty balanced. Okay, I, didn't, I only took like 10 points more damage than on the Storm guy. So, yeah, see, my armor worked out pretty well. Yeah, but that was not a good, good sign. I mean, they hit us pretty hard there. Okay, now we're going to hit him. Yeah, so we got to make sure that we're hitting these guys every round. Okay, so hopefully this guy's Tempest is going to take a big chunk out of block. Perhaps if I can get a big enough, um, big enough jump on mine, we can get these guys out of here. Now again, block, you know, soloing is kind of tough. You got to come in here with a pretty good strategy to be able to pull off the win. Oh yeah, I might just do it for him. Okay, 28-15, very good. My turn. Let's see if what type of hit I can get with my frog on him. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. I probably won't get a big number. Not enough to kill him, at least. Oh, yes, it is. Fantastic. See, guys? Look, it was a good call coming in here. I'm going to come back and try to do him as a solo again, but this worked out perfectly. Very good. Okay, guys, and there we go. Just like that, we have beaten Balak out. Check it out. We're going to grab these purple jewel pile here. Okay. Is there anything else cool in here? Look at that little gold statue there. Very cool. Okay. Anyway, so let's talk to Balak. Yes. The gems on the headdresses come from the drum jungle. Ah, the black -back there we have go. Selling them to us. Have they now? Okay. Counselor Rasik first introduced me to the black back gorillas. Ah, so you blame Rasik. Is eager to trade. Okay. The gorillas supply much good black stone for building. They uncovered a unique okay, and? site, and I ship it here. Okay, no problem. There's a barge at dock right now, full of bricks, artifacts, and the like. 
Go look at it if you must. Okay, sounds good. And with that, guys, I think this is all I have time for in this episode, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me, Kieran Trollcaller, here for the Myth Will Call, and I hope you guys, I uh, know the Myth Walkthrough, and I hope you guys have a great week. We will continue on to the Drum Jungle, which I think we'll get to next episode. This is Kieran Trollcaller. Catch you later, guys. Bye bye.